Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to a short Easter egg video. So I think I'm going to try to do these Easter egg videos. It's almost like a glimpse of Jesus in the Old Testament and then where he is uh, in the New Testament fulfilling that. The first one I want to talk about today is found in Job 9. Uh, we are discussing Job. He's kind of grieving the situation he's in, how he might be found guilty against God. And he actually says in Job 9, in verses 32 and 33, for he is not a man as I am, talking about God, that I might answer him, that we should come to trial together. There is no arbiter between us who might lay his hand on us both. And so what he's talking about here is he's saying, look, all these things are happening to me. And he's thinking that maybe there's something that he did, even though he can't figure it out. But even if he did do something wrong, who is he to stand against God, the ultimate judge of everything that we do, right? Who is he to do that? Because he's just a mere created man. He's not God. He didn't create anything. And so he's recognizing the majesty of God and him as the ultimate judge and ruler. But then we find in the New Testament where the same type of uh, a visual is referenced as we look at Jesus, and it's found in 1 Timothy 2, in verse 5, it says, For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Jesus Christ, or Christ Jesus. I find that this is awesome. And the, the ironic thing is, I don't really find too many references to Job 9 when it talks about a mediator between God and man. But we see it in Job 9, and this is one of the earliest books that were written in the Old Testament time frame wise. If you're going through the Bible in a year plan, generally, if you're doing chronological order, it'll go from Genesis to Job, which is kind of amazing. So way back in the days of Job, you're looking at this story and Job saying, hey, there's not a mediator. If only there were a mediator between God and man. And then we see that mediator comes in the person of Christ Jesus, God in the flesh, and he becomes our mediator, as stated in First Timothy, First uh, Timothy two five. So I just want to point that out to you. Let me know if this is interesting to you. If you want to see more of these, I just want to know what's beneficial and helpful to you. So thanks so much for checking this out. I'll see you next time, hopefully with another one. Thank you so much, and God bless.